Well, we just uh, left. The time has finally come. We are on our way. Um, we're gonna start a countdown. Sorry. We're gonna start a countdown here and we're gonna stop it when we walk into our room in <laughs> Bali and see how many hours this takes. How much time has passed? Hour 53. All right, and well, we've already pretty much <laughs> demolished the popcorn that was supposed to be eaten on the plane. That was supposed to last 27 hours. <sighs> We're not even to Penn Station yet. Well, we survived our 16 hour flight. We're in Taiwan now for our layover um, until our next flight. And I'm really, really titillated by how pretty this airport is. Look at this. They're all real. They're everywhere. The 16 hours wasn't so bad, actually. I think it's, we were saying it's kind of a psychological thing when you know that what you're in for, at least like the first half of it is painless, and it was. Yeah. We got to the eight hour mark and felt fine. Yeah, well, I mean, our flight also started at midnight, so we were pretty tired to begin with. But yeah, after like six to eight hours, we were shocked by how much time actually passed. We thought it was only like two hours. This airport has uh, living wall gardens. It's like numero uno. They even had a natural museum of history here. Pretty cool. Meanwhile, we've got JFK in Newark. <laughs> ah, we made it to our hotel. What's the time check? 29 hours, 55 minutes. <laughs> See if you can do it under 30. We probably could have if they didn't lose your book bag. Yes, yeah, so that's our first adventure of the trip. <laughs> um, we were commenting as we were at baggage claim how I've never lost a bag before. <laughs> and uh, you were saying that I shouldn't say that. You know, we didn't really think that would decrease our chances of me getting my bag. Sure enough, no bag after everything. <laughs> so we went to the, to the baggage office and filled paperwork out and figured we'd have to wait days if we would get it back at all. But it turned out it was stuck in the conveyor belt that brings it up to the baggage return. So they went down there and got it and all is good. We think I haven't gone through the bag yet, but yeah. it should be all is good. This is a pretty high-end looking room. Look at this. Most of our hotel rooms that we've had in the past, I've never had a TV. <laughs> now we can watch the Super Bowl. Oh yeah, because I care. Wow, look at that. Here we are, our first meal in Bali. How is it? It's outstanding. This is the swordfish, it's wonderful. This is a grilled seafood medley at this beach bar, although we haven't seen the beach yet, which is interesting. How's your beer, Justin? It's terrible. You're gonna ask me how my wine is? Yeah, how is your wine? Um, well, I pretty much called it. I said that um, if they're gonna have to taste test it, I'm gonna say it's good, even if it's not, because I'm too much of a pansy to say otherwise. And I'm pretty sure it's rancid. <laughs> and I said it was wonderful. Awkward. Oh, and now she has a whole bottle. Alright, this is our hotel area. We're at a hotel called The Island. Is it one? Oh, I can't get my flip flop off. Oh my god. It's actually quite nice. Notice a lot of these temples have like these little skirts around them.
for those who menstruate, it is prohibited entry into the temple. It does look very clean, though. <laughs> I don't know what you mean by that. Well, we finally made it to the beach. Um, this is, uh, we're not really sure where we are exactly. This Ooh. is supposed to be like a world-class beach, but I mean, it's not the best day, it's the clouds, but it does look pretty filthy. So <laughs> I think we're in the wrong spot, <laughs> but it does feel refreshing because it's really hot and humid. We've only been out for like an hour. It's only 8 a.m., so, uh, you know, it's not even like the peak of the heat of the day, but it still feels refreshing. It's funny how everyone at home is like, you know, in a freezing weather right now and they probably would love to be on the beach and here we are at like one of the best beach destinations in the world and we're like and eh, maybe we'll go to the beach but <laughs> probably not well we're just not beach people we will be diving and swimming so we'll make use of the warm weather in the ocean definitely won't be laying on the beach though this water uh, temperature is really comfortable though. it's really nice yeah anyone knows us, anyone who knows us knows that that's so uncharacteristic. Yeah. It's kind of funny because it's like, uh, no thank you. Thank you. It's okay. Thank you. We, uh, we literally flew out, we flew out of home, we flew from home like during a blizzard, so um, it's, it's weird to think that we're sitting on the beach while everyone at home who would enjoy the beach much more than us <laughs> is stuck in the cold. And, you know, like, this isn't really our thing. We're not enjoying ourselves. It's too hot. <laughs> I'm enjoying myself. This I'm just, is wonderful. I know. I'm just kidding. Uh, but I'm enjoying myself because we're only going to be doing this for, like, an hour. And we're in the shade right now. We're in the yeah. sun. It is blazing. Yeah, you can't even walk on the sand here. It's just too hot. And, of course, we have drinks. They're terrible. Yeah. They're refreshing. Um, so... We're in Kuda, which is like the tourist section of the capital city of Bali, and it's okay. I don't think it's really our favorite. So tomorrow we're going to leave. We booked a, boat, a speed boat to the next island over. Um, it's called, well, there are three islands. They're called the Gili Islands. So tomorrow morning we're going to head out to that and see how that is. Yeah, I think the reason why it's not necessarily our favorite is because it's like super touristy. Um, I think you described it best by saying it's like the Cancun of like this area. Yeah, it's like the Cancun of Asia, and like everyone here is Australian, which is cool, but it's, you know, it, it's just all centered around sitting on the beach and shopping, which, you know, sitting on the beach is cool for us now, but I'll be bored of it after that. But I feel like the shopping is all like redundant, it's all the same sunglasses, flip-flops, and like... Yeah, and like... Like, like sexual t-shirts. Yeah, it's like what you see everywhere. Yeah. But, um, we're gonna enjoy our drinks and enjoy not going into the office today. If you're ever on Kuda Beach and you need a children's toy or Valium, the same guy sells both, so don't worry about it. He sells a top and, uh, and Valium. Seafood special. 